Welcome to Toro NSN's Training in 10, an innovative, self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. Today's topic is the watering plan, part two. While this presentation is focused on Lynx 4.1 version and higher, the principles apply to most versions of Lynx. Covered in this training in 10 are the drill down items within the programs within the watering plan. They will cover the whole level and the station level. We will start on the Lynx watering plan screen and then drill into the hole and station levels and then zoom into each individual item on each of these areas. As we drill into the watering plan, we will start at the hole level. Then we will look at each individual area within the whole level. The drops are green for all areas and holes that are scheduled to irrigate. You can turn off individual holes by removing the check, thus making that drop red. If there is a red shadow behind the green drop, this is an indication that there are stations not scheduled to irrigate. The next column is the auto cycle. The user can activate an auto cycle by the entire program or by individual holes by placing the check in the box. The next six columns show the whole level for the last scheduled runtime and last scheduled amount, the next scheduled runtime and amount, and the adjusted runtime and amount. Remember that numbers separated by a forward slash show a range of runtimes and or amounts within that whole level. The next column is the percent adjust. This allows the user to percent adjust holes within an area up or down. The offset column right below start time allows the user to delay the start of an individual hole within a program. A zero offset will allow links to schedule the hole within the area as close to the scheduled program start time as flow will allow. The offset settings can be between 0 and 180 minutes. In this example, the first offset will not allow that specific hole to be scheduled earlier than 2015, while the other hole will not be scheduled before 2300. The rainfall column allows the user to select a specific weather station to reduce the adjusted amount, thus the runtime, for that specific hole by the last 24-hour rainfall amount. Here we have selected a specific station to be utilized for only one hole. 
The Max Station column allows the user to set the maximum number of stations that will irrigate at one time per that specific hole for that specific area. By default, the max station number is set to 10, but can be adjusted down to 1 or up to 99. Remember that Lynx flow manages the system during automatic irrigation and may not run the full max station if there is not enough water. Now, let's utilize the dynamic drill down into the station level. At the station level, we are now able to see the individual station tag identifiers for the stations within that area hole. The user can then hover the mouse over the station tag. This will show the station's hardware address. If the drops on the individual stations are green, they are scheduled to irrigate. If the user turns off a station by removing the check from the dot, then the drop becomes red. The red then is shadowed on the hole and the program level. At the station level, the user can activate the auto cycle feature for specific stations instead of the entire hole or the entire program. The next six columns at the station level show the last scheduled runtime and amount, the next scheduled runtime and amount, and the adjusted runtime and amount for each individual station. If stations have been turned off, their adjusted runtime becomes zero. The individual station percentage adjust cascades down from the hole and the program level. This is where the user can adjust an individual station. There are two options to percent adjust an individual station. A locked in adjustment utilizing the up and down arrows or you can click on the large drop down at this side of the screen. The large drop down opens up a percent adjustment for duration. You can set the number of days, what you want the percent adjust to be changed to, and what it will go back to at the end of that day durations. When you utilize a percent adjust for duration, it shows the percent and how long that duration is. Also, as you make percent adjust, either the locked in or for duration, it shows the last time it was changed. The suspension column is used to remove a station from irrigation for a set number of days. This one is suspended for three. After three days, it will return to normal irrigation. It can be suspended for up to 30 days. The last two columns are the C time or cycle time and the quantity of water that is to be applied for an individual station. The seven minute runtime shows a station scheduled normally. The five minute shows that 
auto cycle has been activated thus reducing the runtime to five minutes at a time. The zeros shows a station that is either turned off, suspended, or has a zero percentage adjust. Well, another 10 minutes has gone by and you have just completed another episode of NSN's Training in 10. Today's topic has been the watering plan, part two. We hope that this training in 10 lesson was helpful for you to better understand this helpful tool and that it helps further enhance your career working with the number one irrigation central control product available, the Toro Link System. Be sure to keep looking for future installments of NSN's Training in 10, the self-paced training module that allows you to get trained and get going. If you have any questions about this or about future training module releases, or if you would like to participate in one of our acclaimed Toro Lynx regional training classes, please contact us by calling 888 676-8676, option 2. Once again, that's 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro NSN Training also invites you to follow us on Twitter so that you can get the latest updates on where we are, what we're doing, and the new training opportunities for you to participate in. You can find us at twitter.com forward slash at Toro NSN Training and send us a request to follow. Toro NSN Focus Training, personalized irrigation software training with two options available. The first is online, one to two hour blocks, topic specific, all done on the web or in person, half or full days at your facility addressing multiple topics. Again, if you're interested, give us a call at 888-676-8676, option 2. Toro and Toro's National Support Network. Count on it.